Hello everyone and welcome to episode 15 of the TCC CTC link vlog. Uh, just have a couple items to, to cover this time around. Uh, first off, I wanted to say congratulations to our episode 14 winner, Brian Lanier. He's been hosting Link down in HR for the past couple of weeks. Uh, so stay tuned uh, on Monday for the a question from episode 15, so for your chance to host Link in your department. Uh, secondly, I wanted to talk about our data conversion process. Um, we are just finishing up validation for uh, d a data conversion cycle number three and we're getting ready to move into data conversion cycle number four and that will actually start on March 17th. Uh, one of the great things about this particular cycle is that uh, most if not all of our um, data is going to be moved from legacy into PeopleSoft at this point. I think there are a few things that won't get pushed through uh, but most of the data will will be in uh, loaded into PeopleSoft in this particular conversion cycle. So I just wanted to kind of cover uh, some of the or show you some of the things that will be um, that will be converted in this particular cycle. So uh, you'll see here on Campus Solutions, uh, down here at the key, you'll see that orange, blue, and purple um, were the previous data conversion cycles, so cycle one, two, and three. So all of those uh, data elements will be converted in cycle four as well uh, as the brown uh, colored items. Uh, so you'll see here that um, you know most of the academic structure and some of these things have check marks which means this data has already been converted. And so the data that hasn't been converted yet you'll see uh, are mostly the brown items and they will be converted in this particular cycle. So one of the biggest pieces is going to be um, the course class. Um, actually some of the course data uh, didn't get pushed through and so we're uh, kind of looking forward to seeing some of that uh, data get pushed in this time. And test core was another one that we uh, have been working on to, to get mapped so that it can convert correctly and so that'll be pushed through in this particular cycle. And then under human capital management, um, you'll see just pretty much all the data that's listed here um, fits in that orange, blue, purple, or brown uh, color scheme. So that's gonna be converted. And then under uh, finance, uh, you'll see that there's still some items that are listed as black and those, those uh, won't be in this particular conversion cycle or cycle number four, but all those elements that are orange, uh, blue, purple, and brown will get converted this time. So this is a pretty exciting um, a conversion cycle because like I said, we're gonna have a lot of the, most of the data uh, from legacy converted in here. So there'll be a lot to validate and a lot to look at. Um, and it kind of leads into uh, the reporting training that will be coming up uh, probably early April uh, for some folks on campus and they'll have access to most of the data as they kind of get some training in that in the reporting piece. Um, and then finally, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, this next week, uh, a group of us will be going to the PeopleSoft Higher Education Users Group Conference. And, uh, and I plan to um, use Twitter to communicate out some of the thing, interesting things that we, that we discover uh, at the conference. And so if you want to, if you want to uh, participate and take a look at some of the things that, uh, that, that I'll be pushing through Twitter, uh, you can follow me at uh, the at sign A Duckworth, which is printed on the screen there. Um, and you can keep up with, uh, with some of the stuff that we're seeing there at the conference this next week. Uh, so that's all I have uh, for today. Uh, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or give me a call or stop on by the office. All right, thanks.